hey, what's up? So, I'm going to give y'all a few questions that you need to ask on your initial interview. Uh, or a date, whatever you call it. Your initial encounter with the opposite sex. That's for men and women. Okay? Men, you need to know this about women. Women, you need to know these things about men. And trust me, we can find a lot about a person. Find out almost everything you need to know in about 15 minutes of conversation. If you ask the right questions. So I'm going to give y'all some tips. I'm going to help y'all ask the right questions. First question that I ask any man to say, hey, beautiful, can I get your number? Well, first, let's have a conversation while I'm standing in front of you. Because if you can't hold a conversation while I'm standing in front of you, ain't no need for you to get my number. Because you go call me and ask me, what you doing 25 times? If you can't have a dialogue while I'm standing here, you need not have my phone number. Okay, so I ask questions. A narcissistic men don't like it when you ask questions because they want to ask you all the questions and they don't want to give up no information. Boom, secrets out the bag. Stay away from narcissistic men, okay? And women. So, first question I like to, I like to ask, and you'll probably hear, it, hear me say it in quite a few videos, what motivates you to get out of bed every day? Lord, if he draw a blank or she draw a blank, that's going to take some, that's a thought-provoking question. Even though sun up to sun down, we get out of bed every day. But yet, some of us don't have a clue why we get out of bed every day. Okay? Just because the sun come up don't mean you got to get out of bed. All right. Um, all these all these questions are you building the character of a person, like developing, trying to figure out their character. Okay, this goes way deeper, way beyond. You're just trying to figure out their mindset. Okay, that's the whole goal. You got to figure out if you look. Beyonce said, "Your focus match my focus. I can feed you." If we ain't, if our focus, if your focus don't match my focus. It don't matter if you go if you going south and I'm going west. We ain't following each other. We ain't linking up. We ain't connecting at all. Okay, we ain't vibing as y'all like to say. We ain't on the same vibrations. Okay, we ain't on the same energy, force field, none of that. Whatever language, whatever how y'all want to put it. These questions determine a person's mindset real quick. Okay, next question. Where do you see yourself in the next five, two to five years? Where do you see yourself in the next two to five years? Self-explanatory. If he's ambitious, or if he got some things he already working out, you go know, because he goes, he go talk to you about it. And same thing. Look, women, I know y'all like to, you know, you want this perfect man, this champion champion quality man who got all this perseverance and hard work and dedication and yeah he just he just go get him he's an alpha male but if you ain't got your shit going if you ain't doing your thing if you ain't progressing want something out of life what makes you think you're gonna get that man you stay in your lane okay i shouldn't say that's wrong that was wrong but men you need to ask me women these questions too Cause not all, all these women out here really got it going on. They looking for somebody to take care of them. You know, they they pay they they phone bill more than they rent, and they okay with that. And they ain't trying to make more than that phone bill payment. Okay, and they looking to you to pay the phone bill. Okay, next question: Your spiritual and religious beliefs. Now, okay. That's self-explanatory. Like, a lot of people got a lot of different beliefs. Makes for great conversation, but not great marriage commitment. Okay, that's okay. I'm gonna leave that one right there. What kind of work you do? 
you de determine the character of a person, you determine they likes, dislikes, what they good at. If he say he an engineer, he's probably very analytical, he's probably math oriented. And if you like freedom and happy-go-lucky, analytical, y'all gonna be an interesting pair, okay? <laughs> what kind of work you do? That, that brings up a whole conversation. How'd you end up doing that job? Or what, what is that? Like, ask those questions, okay? This was a fun one for me. How long was your longest relationship? If he say anything less than five years and he's over 30, so you're telling me no woman so far has kept you around for more than five years or no man has kept you around for more than five years or you didn't want to stay with a man for more than five years. Do y'all realize shit in a relationship, shit don't start getting real to about six, six, year, six or seven years of being in a relationship with somebody. All that honeymoon phase, that shit go out the window, window okay? If shit, if you, if you peace out at the first sign of any kind of trial or tribulation, that's a sign. You don't have the perseverance to be in no long-term relationships or long-term commitments. We over 30. Some of us over 30, okay? Shit, some of y'all over 40. And ain't had a relationship more than five years. Check yourself. Check your shit. You should be thinking, hmm, why could my relationships ain't lasting that long? Huh, what's wrong with me? Maybe it's because you ain't shit, okay? <laughs> yeah, like why? And then if he, if he go on, and this is a character question, okay? If he go on to bash his last ex and you ask him, so what did you learn? Oh, you didn't learn nothing. You didn't do nothing wrong. Red flag. Sis, red flag. Same thing, brothers, guys. If you ask her, you know, what happened in the last relationship, woo, 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 and all she got to do is bash and drag the last dude. So what you learn? A hand can't clap by itself. What you do in the relationship? Okay, the hand can't clap by itself. Okay. All right. How long was your longest relationship? Okay. That's going to determine the level of loyalty and perseverance you're dealing with. Okay. What's the last book you read? I see, I love to read. I got stacks and stacks of books. I love to read. I love to feed my mind. My TV is usually off. When my kids ain't home, my TV is off. But if the last book he read was Hop on Pop, <laughs> with you, what do you feed your mind with? What? You ain't trying to grow. You ain't trying to improve. So what do you do all day? Or do your downtime and your free time? Watch TV? Yeah, no, nah, no, nah. we ain't gonna, no, no, no. Last question. If money wasn't an issue, what would you be doing right now? If you didn't have to work a job for money and you could do anything that you wanted to do, what would it be? This gets him thinking, this gets him or her thinking way outside the box. Like the possibilities are endless. The potential, if only. But see, when you tap into that, you really get to know who the person is. You really get to see their character. What is it that they like to do? For me, I love to dance. I love to dance and I'm an exceptionally gifted dancer, okay? But yeah, those are questions. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all go ahead and add your question to the comments. What's your interview questions that y'all ask on initial, in the initial encounters? This don't even have to be date questions. These are literally, when you come up to me and you say, hey, how you doing, sweetheart? I'm great. How are you? 
and you try to start a conversation, guess what? These questions come popping up in conversation. Yeah. So 15 minutes, I'm determining how far are we, if we gonna physically be friends, maybe, maybe not. Let's just see how you answer these, these six questions. Okay. Y'all let me know what y'all think.